In episode one, we enjoyed an extremely smooth crossing of the Strait of Georgia and made a few quick stops on our way to the warm waters of Desolation Sound. Welcome back for episode two. After moving on from Everly Anchorage, our next stop was Grace Harbor. While Grace Harbor is a popular anchorage, it's remarkably quiet, and it offers opportunities to go ashore and do some exploring. What are we searching for? The unknown. We'll only know it when we find it. What do you have to say, Spencer? Uh, I would say that we're on a great hike and we're gonna go to a lake. What are we gonna do when we get there? Look at the lake. I don't wanna go swimming. How come? Leeches. Yeah. Grace Harbor after a uh, couple of really nice days of uh, playing in the water and hiking around and uh, just generally having a really nice time. This morning uh, we got a little bit of rain which is actually kind of a welcome sight. Uh, the air already feels fresher from the uh, smoke that's in the air from the BC wildfires. Have a little bit of rain in the forecast for the next uh, couple days uh, and then it's supposed to get nice again after that. So. I guess we'll see. After being out for several days, it was time to refill our water tanks, replenish our ice, and pick up a few groceries. And for that, we visited Refuge Cove. Refuge Cove's a great spot to uh, pop in and grab uh, fuel, water, ice, uh, and some groceries. Uh, middle of the day, it's really busy with boats coming in and out doing the same thing, as well as seaplanes uh, coming in to pick up and drop off. Right now we're heading across to uh, Squirrel Cove where we're going to drop the hook and wait out some uh, rain that might be in the forecast uh, for the next couple days. rain, it did arrive, but it didn't last long before giving way to clear skies and pleasant weather. Alright, hop on. Underway for Pendrel Sound, probably one of my favorite uh, anchorages in all of Desolation Sound. We got a fairly early start this morning, and the water is absolutely flat.
Sound is one of my favorites because of its contrast. The contrast between the mountain peaks that surround the inlet and some of the warmest water north of Mexico. What's not to love? How long did you ski for, Thomas? 35 minutes. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, hit that like button and subscribe for future content. Also, check out my website at www.mvjollymon.com.